Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a collective favorites um, video. And I haven't done a favorites video in forever. I've been slacking on videos, I know, and I'm, I apologize for no makeup and whatever. Um, <coughs> I hope that's okay. Anyways, I'm just going to get started because I have quite a few, um, believe it or not. Anyways, the first thing is this perfume and it's called Snazzy Woman. And it looks like this and it has like a woman on it and like leopard or cheetah print and this is a dupe for um Snooki's perfume i forget what it, <laughs> i don't even know what it's called but um the only reason why i got it is because it smells amazing um that's what i look for in a perfume like how it smells how it wears um and this smells really good um <laughs> It's like florally, but it also has like that sweetness to it. I don't know. It's like what I look for in a perfume. I don't know. I just really like it. And it like wears really good. And it stays um, like potent really, really um, long. So that's that. And then this isn't really like makeup or beauty or anything related. But this um, room spray is amazing. It's by Glade. And it's Frosted Cookies, um, Vanilla and Sugar. And I think it's their winter collection. So if you can go out and get it, I definitely suggest it. It smells really, really good. Like, we're almost out of it because, like, we love our room smell like cookies. And just, like, landed on me. Um, but yeah, it just makes your room smell amazing. And, like, <laughs> it smells like you have an oven in your room baking fresh like sugar cookies so definitely recommend that and I forgot to mention the perfume was like five dollars at five below but I'm pretty sure any other like drugstore kind of places um produce knockoffs and we got this on sale for 250 so it's like huge bottle it's um 9.7 ounces so it's lasted us a pretty good while um, for some skincare, I guess you could say, um, I've been loving the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Skin Therapy Cream, um, in aloe. It heals dry skin problem, and I'm, I was having a problem with, like, dry skin, dry hands, dry feet, so, um, this is why I got it, and it was, like, $4.99 at Walmart, and this isn't a haul or anything, but <laughs> I figured I would, might as well tell you guys, in case you want to go out and get it. But, um, this is like a really thick lotion, um, let me see if I can show you, like look at that, that's really, it's like thick, and the thing with me, I do not like lotion on my face, hands, or feet, like I don't like the greasy feeling, like no matter if it says it sinks into your skin or not, it still feels greasy to me, and I don't like that feeling on my skin, but I've been having to deal with it, <coughs> but... Anyways, it says it's ideal for hands, cuticles, feet, elbows, knees, problem patches on legs, back, or body. And it's hypoallergenic and dermatologist. Dermatologist test it. So, I've been really, really liking that. Um, and what I've been doing with my feet is I put it on my feet and then I put socks over it, which that kind of helps with the, like, the greasy feeling or whatever. But um, what I want to start doing is I want to buy a pair of gloves and put on my hands and then put my put gloves over it so then like it sinks in or whatever. And then going on with the skincare, I don't have a s I don't have a set routine on my skin, honestly. Um I'm very bad with like routines and like schedules for like face skincare and stuff. It's horrible, I know, but I think my skin looks pretty good anyway. But I was having like a dry patch like I always get dry like right around here. And then I was having some, like, dry over here. And, um, I wanted to get a lightweight mo moisturizer for my face, because obviously you don't want to put too heavy on it, just in case of breakouts or whatever. Um, so I tried the set of, well, I bought the Cetaphil Every Age, Every Stage, Every Day. Moisturizing lotion looks like this. It's huge. It's like a huge bottle. Um... And this is dermatologist recommended, and it, like, doesn't bring out your skin or anything. And I've been using it, um, and it works. <laughs> and it actually sinks in your skin. Like, I don't feel like my skin is, like, really, um, like, greasy or whatever. And this is a 16 fluid ounce, and this was, like, $10 at Walmart. So this is going to last me forever, but 
I've really been loving that, and it hasn't it hasn't um, broken me out or made me feel like grease or anything. Um, the next two things are hand sanitizers, of course, and um, one scent is a, a continuous favorite, and I'll just show you guys. It's Vampire Blood. Um, I have like <laughs> two left of these, I think. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I used quite a bit of it, and it's just a plum flavor or scent. It smells really good. And then this one I've been recently loving is candy corn and my friend Meg sent me this one as well and as you can see I used a pretty good amount of that and this one actually smells more like um like a marshmallowy candy corn it smells really good and I freaking love it um yeah okay so two lip balms I've been loving and I've heard good things about these I've heard bad things about these um I personally, I, it's hit and miss with me, like, I have, I have pretty much all of them except for the melon one, I think, and they're the EOS lip balms. I've been loving <laughs> these two, and <laughs> this one is the EOS medicated lip balm in tangerine, and as you can see, I've used quite a amount, and all my lip balms look like this, like, they get, ew, they get, um, flat at the top, I don't know, but... It smells like tangerine, but it also has like a eucalyptus, like menthol y um, smell to it, which I don't like, but the sweetness of the tangerine, like, um, cancels that out. And it works really, really good. Um, it helps my lips out when they're dry. And then there's this one, which I lost for a while because Chatter knocked it off the bed and it like fell, un it fell, it like fell down under the bed, like, where I couldn't see it, like, even though I looked, but I really, really like this one, and this one is the Sweet Mint, and it's just the mint green one, and, oh my gosh, it's just, it's, it's minty, but it has, like, a sweetness to it, too, and that's how much I used of that, I love this stuff, like, I'm wearing it right now, and it, um, you get like a uh, cooling sensation on your lips, so if they're dry or whatever, like it'll feel really, really good. I've been loving this so concealer that is now. Bad. I don't really have that many concealers anyway, but I've been loving this one. And it's the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. And this is the shade Light. Um, I'm not going to do like a swatch, but it has like a little squeezy tube. I really like it. And it covers up my dark, dark circles. Now, it is a little light, but it, I find that it brightens it. So, and it's like a semi, like, thick consistency, if you can see that. I'm not going to try. I don't like to waste it, but, um, I've been really, really loving that. And also, for the last, like, makeup type thing, I have been loving, like, red lips on me, like, red, berry, um, yeah. I've been using a lot of lipsticks, like, I have like, chose you know, one to just wear all the time, but there was just one that, like, I really like, and it is called Charmed, and it's in the LA Colors, um, lip gloss and lipstick duo, and it's just this really nice berry color, and I'll do a little swatch, and it's really, really nice. three nail polishes that I've been going back to, like, I've been, like, like just going to and the first one is my China Glaze um, nail polish and riveting it's just a bright orange and it has like gold shimmers in it and the reason why is because it's been perfect for fall and I've been doing like a lot uh, I will I was doing a lot of like fall uh, manicures and stuff so it's just that one, and I'm sadly getting low on this one, and I should have bought a backup, but it's limited edition, so yeah, that's my mistake. And then I have another not, um, another nail polish. Um, it's called Harvest Moon, and it's like a coppery, bronzy color. And this again was from the Hunger Games collection, along with Riveting. And it's limited edition, and... Yeah. I just really like that. I've been using that a lot lately. And then also I've been using like these bronzy, like, not bronzy, but like these burgundy brown shades. And this one's called Mercury Rising and this is from Simple Colors. 
and this is on my toes right now, and this just looks, uh, it's just like the perfect fall color. And now since it's winter, I'm starting to get into like the blues and the silvers and the golds and stuff, but yeah. So that is all the makeup and skincare and stuff. Now I'll get on to like other stuff. Um, I have been loving my iPhone 4, and yes I know, you're like 4, but the 5 just came out, no. Um, I'm not really a fan of the 5, I been, really don't like how it looks, and I heard that like the ports, like the, the ports are like different, and I just don't want to deal with that. So, I am loving my, I love my iPhone 4, piece. and it's just sparkly. I do have an Iron Man one, that I really like too, and I switched off and on, which I showed this in a haul I believe. Um, but yeah. And I have been loving some songs lately. Um, I'll find, try and find them. Okay, so <coughs> I have been loving Oath by um, Cher Lloyd. Um, this is gonna hurt. If you ever heard of Motley Crue, well, their one band member, um, Nikki Six, has a band of his own. And it's called 6AM, and they have a song that's called This Is Gonna Hurt. Amazing. Um, if you're into, like, rock. And then Foxy Shazam, which my husband actually um, told me about, and I fell in love with them. Like, if you like Queen, they're very similar to Queen. Like, the frontman kind of looks like him and sounds like him. And the song that I, like, love is called Holy Touch. Amazing. Um, Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven, I've been loving that. Um, I've just recently lo started, like, well, I just recently started loving I Knew You Were Trouble by Taylor Swift. Like, I like anything from Taylor Swift, but I Knew You Were Trouble. And also, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. That has been, like, stuck in my head. And then, Kesha's Die Young. So, as you can see, I love music. Like, I have a lot of favorites in music. Um, TV shows, I've been loving The Walking Dead. Um... Teen Mom 2, which I really didn't want to, but it's interesting, and it's drama, and whatever. Um, Vampire Diaries. I can't wait for Pretty Little Liars to get back, well, to come back. Um, yeah. I think I covered that. But anyways, that is my favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm, again, I'm sorry for the no makeup and no tutorials and blah. blah. Um, so if you want to, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.